moneybomb.com tomorrow starting in the morning it's going to start up and run till friday when the show starts um you know we've got on there that twenty thousand dollars have come in it's more like 60 i need to go ahead and we have to manually enter the money but about 60 grand has come in so far i want to go well above two hundred fifty thousand dollars sounds like a lot it's not when you're talking to trying to do tv and finish our tv studio look at all we've done I mean, in a year, found the office, moved in, built the studios. It was a gutted warehouse in here. Uh, had to haggle companies, you know, to build it and try to get a good deal. Found the cheapest area in Austin. Uh, we're actually kind of out on the edge of Austin. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm proud of my crew and what they did and my, and the people that built the studio, everybody. So we found a place, moved into it, launched it, made the Obama deception and other films while we were doing it on top of the radio show and everything. And it's so hard to go from, 10 people in your office to, to a bigger office in 14 or 15. And then it, we want to go to the next level of 20, 25, 30 people. It gets easier once you have the foundation. And we're now at that launch pad. We built the rocket. It's loaded. It's fueled. It's got the gantry on it. As they say, you ain't seen nothing yet. And, you know, all the big interviews we have, the, all the activist groups we have on, all the legislation we battle that's bad, all the good legislation we push, this is really a fulcrum or one of the main centers. I would say the anti new World Order movement uh, is a bipolar or double polar, uh, dose polar system with the Ron Paul and then the Alex Jones. And that's been recognized by many even mainstream writers. There's that, you know, those title systems. And Ron Paul is really the gateway into the deeper information we cover. And we are a gateway to people from the more extreme liberty into the Ron Paul revolution. It is a great symbiotic relationship. We'll be back. Stay with us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. What can you do to keep you and your family safe from the resistant new strains of deadly bacteria and viruses? Check out SupernaturalSilver.com today or visit the link on InfoWars.com to find out more about this incredible new silver compound. The new silver solution is a natural antibiotic that is clinically tested to kill viruses, germs, bacteria, and yeast safely. This new technology has proven itself to be a formidable weapon against bio threats of today and tomorrow. The new Silver Solution Gel has been shown to disinfect topically and keep the area sanitized for up to four hours. The new Silver Solution is a highly effective potent nanoparticle solution that is lethal to bacteria, yeast, and viruses. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and see the amazing line of products they have available. Check out the patented new Silver Solution today. Click on the link and check out the uses for new Silver Solution. Order this extra line of defense today by going to SupernaturalSilver.com. That's SupernaturalSilver.com today. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Okay, the last two hours I've had Ron Paul on. I've covered the VFWs being told we're going to register your knives, your rifles, 150, 160-year-old cannons, that old tank out front that's welded to the ground. And the DHS lists the veterans as the number one terror group that Homeland Security set up for. I always told you it was for you. This is a criminal takeover. Uh, but it's now happening. We're taking your calls on that. Then I'm going to get into a bunch of other issues and financial news. we got Walter Williams, the economist, joining us for the first time ever. That'll be interesting. We Are Change pops in for like 10 minutes. They did a great job confronting uh, General Myers, who was over the 9-11 attacks in, in, in NORAD. And I uh, want to just have them pop in about that. And we're going to get a quick at the end of the show uh, from a press conference that just started on the south side of the Capitol against this bill that openly in ends the Fourth Amendment in Texas. The government could kidnap your children. No judge, no jury, no order. CPS are God creatures. They they have the power of Henry VIII, or they have the power of, uh, you know, a, a medieval pope or something, to just do whatever they want. Just absolutely uh, incredible. Uh, let's go to the calls here. Let's mark in Minnesota. 
No, that's Maryland, excuse me, who's a veteran, chiming in on this. Go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. I uh, I am a veteran. I, I was until this year a proud veteran, but I'm quickly losing my pride uh, with things that are going on. This Obama administration's tearing me up. Uh, when you look at the veterans' uh, hospital and stuff uh, and the way they've abandoned veterans, you really got to wonder. You know, I saw the article last night about the VFW, and it alarmed me because of what happened back in the 80s with the militia groups and banning uh, any military training with militias. And uh, it did alarm me, so I went to work this morning. And I got a hold of the Washington, D.C. headquarters of VFW, and I talked to this fellow who was very perturbed. His name is Jerry Newberry. I have his phone number. I can give it to you offline if you like. Hold on. I had a pen in here, and it's been run off with like everything else. Um, thank you, sir. Just got thrown a pen. Uh, let me write down these uh, write down these names. It was uh, Jerry Newberry. Yes, sir. Jerry Newberry. He's public relations, Washington D.C. He's supposed to be one of the head honchos, public re relations. Eight one six seven five six three three nine zero. That's a public number. Yes. Well, that's yes. Okay. Eight one six seven five six three three nine zero. Okay. Right. Um, now, his, his, um, the official version that he gave to me, uh, it seems that the VFW is going to take the side of the government. Of they course are, they are. Uh, it's going to grovel. If they told veterans yeah. groups to turn their firearms in and to throw their kids off cliffs, the leadership of the VFW and all these groups would say, Hal Hitler, go ahead. I understand what you're saying. I really do. But, it, you know, first thing, he was very perturbed, and he said he was defending Dan West. He said Dan West, the sergeant, his internal um, mail, and his words were threatening, not not the government's words. It was the, the sergeant's words that were threatening, and he was trying to motivate the post commanders to comply with. This, oh, uh, motivate them! Oh, it's always all in Texas and Kentucky and California confirmed in the news. It's just base commanders by themselves tell all the troops who live off base to register their private firearms. It's never the feds. It was it wasn't Obama banning the sale of brass from the military to reloader companies. You know, Obama had introduced all these gun bills to basically ban the Second Amendment. Oh, he didn't call for total gun bans as a state senator. Oh, his attorney general didn't argue for it last year in federal court, a total nation, a national gun ban. Oh, no. I mean, these people are sick. I know, and it gets worse, Alex, because what he says next is alarming because it's so incriminating uh, that it's hard to believe. Now, what Stay there. Next? I want to hear when you're talking to who you say as a caller, but I believe you. We'll call and check it, though. We haven't confirmed it. Jerry Newberry, Public Relations, D.C., and uh, this is what happens. We break the news thanks to listeners giving us tips. Everybody will run around and find out it's 50 times worse than even I said. We'll find out how bad it is. On the other side, stay there, Mark, then Rob, James, Bill, John, and others. Stay with us. Many human illnesses can be attributed to the fact that soil in the United States no longer provides plants with the mineral elements which are essential to human nourishment. Studies have shown that a majority of Americans are seriously deficient in basic minerals. Deficiency in any one or more important minerals actually results in disease. Go to americansuperfoods.com today and see the wide range of foods available that were designed to help your mind and body work the way they were intended to. You can also visit the AmericanSuperfoods.com link on InfoWars.com to see some of the amazing products available. Colloidal Gold, Marine Photoplankton, Maca, Goji Berries, Raw Chocolate Cacao, Nibs, Noni, Immune Detox, and more. Folks, you gotta check these out. These foods promote nutritional excellence, health and well-being, beauty enhancement, and sustainable rainforest agriculture. Go to americansuperfoods.com. Again, the website is americansuperfoods.com. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you again about a company that has supported us in the truth movement for years. Inner Health Botanicals. This company produces the highest quality superfood around, called Inner Food. My wife just loves the stuff. And now the health ranger, Mike Adams, has awarded Inner Food his Editor's Choice Award for Best Superfood of 2009. Inner food is loaded with 20 great organic ingredients. No fillers, no sweeteners. It would be impossible to blend this up for a better price. And their formula really works. This is the real thing for the great health you need. Try the Nutra Cafe, their great organic coffee infused with polysaccharides that boosts the immune system. 
a truly healthy coffee that tastes great. And take it from me, folks, it really does taste great. Don't forget to try their other great products. Go to www.enerfood.com. That's www.enerfood.com. Or just click on their banner on Infowars.com for special pricing. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator this summer. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded.